Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. A quick update today on Solana. I will discuss the imminent short-term price action. What can we expect? Is this pump over or can we expect higher prices? I will also give you my longer-term outlook, so make sure that you watch this entire video. Before we start, give this video a like, subscribe to my channel, and if you want to join my trade signal group, click the first link in the description or just scan the code on the right side of your screen. Lastly, follow me on Twitter, Steph underscore Escrypto, for the latest updates dates so this is the 30 minute time frame here on the solana chart and uh yeah it's looking very impulsive guys uh we reached several price targets so congratulations if you took the trade on solana you are already in a very nice profit here on the channel so uh yeah good job and um yeah almost a 46 percent gain from the signal here on the channel so beautiful trade here and do i think that this uptrend here for solana is over well at the moment um we are at the 1.382 fibonacci extension level here on the logarithmic time scale if we switch to the linear scale we already went above the 1.618 but uh, I think Solana is heading towards the 1.618 here on the logarithmic time scale, which is located somewhere around $14.84 on the Binance uh, exchange. So I do think that this wave three has a minimum price target of $14.84, but it can also get way more extended if Solana is truly extremely bullish. But uh, I do expect Solana to head higher in the imminent short term, at least to $14.84. From what, uh, that level, we have to see how the price will react. Probably we will see a pullback at that level, a healthy pullback in a possible way four, and then we will after that continue the trend higher. So I do think that this uh, uh, current wave structure is in play. And um, yeah, at the moment, I do think that this wave three is still ongoing for Solana. Um, if we take a look at the volume here, we can actually see beautiful increasing volume for Solana. So this is a true uptrend in my opinion here in the imminent short term. And uh, yeah, I see no signs why this should not go higher. Um, if we take a look at several indicators, let's start here off on the four hourly time frame. We can see that there is not yet a bearish divergence for Solana. Let me remove this from the chart because it's not relevant anymore. So if we look at this price action here on the four hourly time frame and if we take a look at the rsi it's not forming any bearish divergence yet so uh, the trend will still continue higher in my opinion uh, yes we are very overbought especially on the stochastic rsi on the four hourly time frame so from any moment it is possible to see uh yeah more of a pullback for solana but i do think it is very realistic that we will reach 14 dollars and 84 cents before seeing a a real pullback for Solana so that's the thing I'm, I'm looking out for um, also guys if we take a look at the let's go to the hourly time frame um, and let's see if there's any bearish divergence here so on the hourly time frame on, on the RSI there is a slight bearish divergence here but I still think the trend is up and as long as the trend is up we still have no reason reasons to believe that we will go down in the short term what we can also do we can draw a parallel channel here for solana so if we take this pivot here on the bottom side and then maybe this one let's do it slightly yeah let's do it like this and then if we take this one let or let's take this one no i'm gonna take this yeah, as long as Solana is within this channel and especially this downward sloping um, line here, then this upward sloping line, sorry, then I think uh, the trend is still up. So um, yeah, I wouldn't short this at this moment. I think that's very, uh, very not smart, not a smart idea. And um, yeah, so let's see how this will develop. Uh, let me also zoom out to the more, uh, to the local, uh, to the three daily time frame. sorry, to see uh, what is happening here in the bigger picture. So let's go to the, three daily time frame here and let's see what is happening for solana so just to give you a very quick recap as always here on the channel so basically from of um 
back in July, I think July 2020, Solana moved up in five waves impulsively to the upside from 62 cents all the way to $253 here on the gate IO exchange. And um, yeah, when the top was reached there, Solana moved down in this bear market here in this so called Elliott wave two correction. When this is completed, we will move up impulsively in the wave three in the bull cycle. So how do we know uh, when the correction is finished for Solana? I already told you guys it's very critical that Solana breaks uh, certain levels and what is absolutely critical here on the let's say the daily time frame is that Solana breaks above $15. If we break, if we manage to break above $15, then we have officially confirmed an uptrend here on the daily time frame. And then I can confirm that the low here at $7.90 was um, a more substantial bottom and perhaps even the bear market bottom. But only a break outside of the channel would confirm that. But a break above $15 would already be a major sign of strength for Solana and possibly even the bear market bottom, who knows guys. But as long as we are trading within this parallel channel to the downside, we are overall still in a big downtrend. But yeah, it's looking interesting and this can definitely turn into something very, very big for Solana. So um, yeah, the first imminent um, Fibonacci resistance area above us uh, from now on is $25. So if we manage to push higher, uh, then we will face resistance at $25. The first imminent area of support below us is $12.52. Uh, on the daily time frame, momentum is pushing up under a buy signal, so we can still expect more positive momentum. RSI heading up strongly, stochastic RSI heading up strongly. So, yeah, according to all these indicators, we can expect more positive price action. And I already warned you back at uh, $9 that we could expect a lot more positive momentum for Solana. And that's exactly what is playing out. So this is my analysis, guys. I'll be back maybe later today if I see major developments on the chart. If not, I'll be back tomorrow with another update make sure that you like this video subscribe to my channel i want to thank you for watching and i see you in the next update bye bye